everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Clarissa and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I wax my upper lip and the sides of my face so let's get to it so I'm gonna be using the Regalito wax warmer and it comes with three bags of hard wax like this it also comes with two sprays one is a pre-wax spray just to remove all the oil off of your face and here's the after wax spray and this is just going to help with removing the wax that's left on your face it also comes with two um size popsicle sticks one is like the size for your upper lip or for your um eyebrows and this one is for like your size of your face or your arms or your legs so since I'm going to be waxing my lip, I'm going to be using a smaller one. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pull my hair back. Because the last thing you want to do is get wax in your hair. Because I think if you get wax in your hair, you're probably going to have to cut it out. So I couldn't find my cotton round, so I'm just going to use a piece of tissue. And I'm going to take some of that pre-wax spray. And I'm just going to spray it on that tissue and I'm going to wipe over top of my lip. And I just washed and scrubbed my face anyway, so I'm pretty sure my face is clean. So before you wax, you just want to put the wax on like the inner side of your wrist just to make sure your wax is not too hot before applying it to your face. So now I'm just gonna start by putting the wax up here. It's hard for me because I'm trying to use the camera. I got some on my nose, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pull some of that off. Like that. And you just wanna let it sit for a second Now you just want to hold your skin really tight like this. I'm going to peel up that ball in piece. Oh God, this is going to hurt, I know. And yank. And look at all that hair. Can you guys see? Oh yeah. You can kind of see all the hair that's in there. So now I'm just gonna start on this side. I'm gonna let it sit there until it hardens up a little bit. I'm just gonna touch that so that's dry so I'm just gonna peel up a little from here on this side now I'm gonna pull the skin tight again and pull ooh that's a lot I have one more place right here that I need to get. And I'm just gonna Pull that. Yeah. Let me check that in the mirror. So now that that's done, you're just gonna go in with some of your after wax and just spray that and wipe the area off. I used to use Nair all the time to remove the hair off the sides of my face and my mustache, 
But then I started um, noticing that the sides of my face were starting to get darker. And I think it was because all of the chemicals and things that's inside of the nair. And you know, if you leave nair on too long, it burns your face and it causes chemical burns. So that's why I switched over to waxing. So now I'm just gonna wax the sides of my face. So once again, I'm gonna go in with that pre-wax spray and just clean the sides of my face really well. And if you're allergic to this spray, you could just use your regular um, facial soap and just do a scrub. Because by using a scrub on your face, you're removing all of that dead skin. So, so it's gonna make the wax stick on your face a lot better. So now I'm gonna switch over to this one. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did for my mustache. And for here, I like to leave some of that hair on the side. I don't like to take the hair off right here. I like to leave some of that hair there. But if you want to take that off, you can. But I really don't like doing that. Because when I'm doing my edges, I like to have my little swirl there. So now I'm just gonna pull my skin tight right there. Oop. There we go. And just pull. Ooh, that was a lot. Look at all that hair in there, y'all. So I'm just gonna go in again. And I work in sections. I don't like to do like a big piece at the same time. dry and also I like waxing because I feel like waxing lasts a lot longer than the nair like I would only have to wax like maybe once or twice a month so now I'm just gonna start that strip right here pull my face tight I'm gonna get my mirror. Yeah, that looks good. And for the last part, I like to wax like right here behind my neck. Like that. All right, now I'm just gonna just flick up the corner over here. And you wanna pull again and pull. Yeah, that was a lot of hair too. Yeah, that's a lot. That's it y'all, I'm all finished and all my hair is gone. When I push up on my face, I don't feel anything. It feels super smooth. And, it, and before the pandemic, I was just like everyone else. I was going to get my waxes done. Every week I was going to get my nails done. But after the pandemic, I learned that you don't always have to go to a professional to get something done. You can do it yourself. All you have to do is just research. And this regular co wax warmer, it works really good. It wasn't that expensive. I think I paid around, I don't know, I wanna say about $25 or $30. But when you take into consideration how much money you spend at the nail salon, getting your nails done, or getting your eyebrows waxed, and your face and chin waxed, you can see that it's totally worth the price. And you can do just, you can do just as well as the professionals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, put in your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.